So, very good evening to all the brothers and sisters in Christ. So, since the last few days, we have been studying about the Lord's uh, second coming. So, uh, last uh, few days, we have studied uh, why Jesus' second coming is there, the general expectations about the second coming, and how actually Jesus comes from the as per the scriptures. And we have seen how to identify the invisible Christ. So, we have seen what are the signs uh, that are uh, given to identify the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. Now, today, we are going to see the last part of it, uh, the date uh, of his second coming. Uh, when Jesus told in Matthew 24, 3, he said, you see, to the answers of the disciples, uh, you see, the disciples' questions were, please uh, tell us, uh, what shall be the sign of thy coming? And end of this, uh, this world, what shall be the sign? So Jesus, you see, was questioned about the signs. And Jesus never said that I shall come like this, like that, all those things and all. You We keep on watching the sky. So Jesus uh, said, you see, his presence shall be like a bright shining that will shine from the east to the west and uh, which is the bright light that shines from the east to the west we have seen that's the sun which rises early in the morning so this sun actually rises in three phases where the people can recognize it will early in the morning only few people can recognize it. and uh, in the morning around nine o'clock uh, still more people will be able to recognize but around uh, afternoon Almost everybody will be able to see the sun which is over their head. So similarly, the first stage of Jesus' return is called as a parousia. The Greek word used is just parousia. And this is the same word that is used in Matthew 24 chapter. And uh, But Luke 17 chapter, he clearly says, As it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be days and the days of Son of Man. So can anybody anybody read that verse, uh, Luke 17.26? Can anyone read Luke 17.26? And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Very good. Brother. As it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be in the days of the Son of Man. So here... The Luke 17 chapter is giving a very wonderful clue to us uh, that uh, the signs that are mentioned in Luke 17 chapter is not the signs of his coming. These are the signs of the things that will happen in his days as Noah was present during his days. So similarly, the son of man, Jesus, will be present in his days so it is in his days that all the things mentioned here will happen. And we all know very well that Luke 17 chapter, Mark 13 chapter, Luke 21st chapter, Matthew 24th chapter are all parallel chapters. So the signs that are mentioned there are the signs for the things that will happen during the days of the Son of Man. And Matthew 24 chapter we have seen how the news about wars and rumors of wars, uh, nation rising in nation, pestilences, famine, earthquake. See, all those things you can just go and search in the Google. In the past uh, hundred years, uh, these have multiplied more than thousand times. Uh. Dear brother, this is a very clear proof uh, that uh, we are living in the presence of the Son of Man. And Jesus also mentions about the great Antichrist system, the coming great time of trouble, you see. And uh, he also mentions about the false uh, miracles, uh, you see, that are happening in Babylon today, you see, and the regathering of Israel. These are all the clear signs before our eyes that we are living, you see, in the last days, especially in his presence. See, the pandemic was a clear, uh, you see, uh, proof before our eyes. Uh, see, pandemic, uh, none of the generations, uh, you see, many, many years before, since many, many years before, the whole world was never locked down. There's no news that the whole world was locked down. Have you ever heard it? It's gone searching the world. This is the first time that has ever happened. That's what Jesus said. 
there shall be a great time of trouble you see and uh, it will be a very great magnitude read matthew 24 anil brother read matthew 24 24 21 brother anil brother or sunita sister matthew 24 21 brother 24 21 Matthew 24, 21. 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world mm. to this time, nor time, no, not ever shall be. See, there, there should be a great time of trouble. You see? And how that great time of trouble will be there? He says, such as was not there since the beginning of this world. And COVID is a beautiful example. The whole world was never locked down at all. So many months together. Huh? Yes, how many people suffered just because of virus that is in the air. Invisible virus. Dear brethren, this is the sample of the great time of trouble. You see, such as was not since the beginning of the world. This is a clear sign that we are living in the day of the Son of Man. And we also saw one of the signs in Daniel 12 chapter 4 verse. This is a very, very clear sign where man shall run to and fro, knowledge shall increase. You see, you go and search in the Google. Huh? Make a list of the inventions uh, that have been invented in last 100 years. Uh, more than, uh, you see, thousands of things have been invented, uh, you see, when, uh, since the last century. Dear brethren, whatever you take in your room, you see, you take pen, you take uh, ink, uh, you take, uh, you see, uh, the laptop, the computer, uh, the technology, what we are using, the internet, uh, you see, and a website, uh, you see, each and everything uh, has been invented in the last uh, few centuries. So, since then, you see, this great uh, boom in where? Uh, increase in knowledge. And because of this increase in knowledge, today, man is able to run to and fro. Just see the modern technology, the transportation system, that is there in the world, you see, huh? we can't even imagine that we ever dreamt that uh, these things will happen. And see the rapid development that has happened in the past 20 years, Tibudran. You see the technology in the automobile field, what it was there just before 20 years, uh, you see, uh, it is totally changed, uh, Tibudran. So, in coming uh, few more years, uh, you see, there will be thousand times uh, changes also. Anyway, so these are the clear uh, signs, dear brethren, that uh, we are living in the Lord's day. We are living in His presence when He is present. Okay. Now, we saw how Jesus uh, has presented and why Jesus has come. Uh, we are going to see today when Jesus actually came. Because if He has returned to the earth atmosphere, uh, surely there must be some date now. Huh? You see, if uh, you all come to my place or if I come to your place, you see, if we say that uh, I am coming or you are coming, there should be some actually a date or day or time, no? You see, though it may be a future one, but definitely after uh, we coming, uh, you see, there should be a, you see, date and a time. So similarly, if Jesus is present, uh, where the Bible says about its you see, there are several proofs for it and Bible tells, you see, that we need to search the scriptures to unlock it. Read Job 24.1. Uh, Joel brother, read Job 24.1. Why, seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty, do they that know him not see his days? See? The times uh, are not hidden from the Almighty. That means God knows the times. There is time for everything. In Ecclesiastes 3rd chapter, 
God gives us a list. There is a time for everything. When he himself mentioned there is a time for everything, don't you think there is a time for Jesus' second coming? Yes. For his first advent, there was a time. You know, there was a time. It's already fixed. Read Galatians 4.4. 4. Who can read? Galatians 4.4. 4. Can somebody open it quickly and read Galatians 4.4? 4. Hmm. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son made of, made of a woman, made under the law. Ah, sister, when the fullness of time had come, that means a proper time had come, then only God sent Jesus. Why did not God send Jesus as soon as Adam sinned? That would have been bitter, no? Why? Because there was a time. Similarly, for the second event of Jesus, there is a time. And his people will see that day. Read Proverbs 25.2. Joel, brother, read Proverbs 25.2. It is the glory of God to conceal a things thing, but the honor of kings is to sort search out a matter. You see, it is the glory of God uh, to conceal a thing. That means that is God's uh, you see glory. It is His character that He conceals the thing. You see in the scriptures, uh, and but it is the honor of the king to search it out. You see, who are the kings? Uh, if we are faithful, we are going to rule with Christ as kings and princes. You see, judges, you see, and priests. These kings, by God's grace, by God's Holy Spirit, can unlock from the Bible his times. Okay. Isaiah 34.16, brother. Joel, brother, please read Isaiah 34.16 also. Seek ye, out, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, No one of these shall fill, none shall want her made, for my mouth is had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. Mm, you see, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, search sir, from the scriptures and read, none shall miss her mate. That means for all the questions, the Bible will have the answer. But only thing we need to search the scriptures. Therefore, if you see in the Bible, there are three ways or three proof regarding Jesus' second coming date. First is a prophecy. You see, there are so many prophecies in the Old Testament. Just before we were all joining, I was discussing on prophecy with Brother Anil. How Israel will be gathered in God's fury. That is one of the prophecy. Then uh, there's other uh, way is a time prophecy. Apart from uh, direct prophecies, there is a time prophecy also. What just read now, Galatians 4 4. That is a time prophecy. So similarly, there is a time prophecy also. And uh, last is the Bible chronology. The Bible is the only book which gives us a date exactly from the creation of Adam till Jesus' first advent. That means AD 1. And not only that one, till the second coming of Jesus, you see, the end of 6,000 years, Bible is the only book which gives us a date scripturally with exact proof. So today, we're going to take some time and study these three points. Okay, first of all, the prophecy. Let us read Daniel 2.44. Um, Romy's sister or Amar brother, can you read Daniel 2.44? Yes, brother. And in the days of the king shall the, shall the God of heaven set up, the, up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other, other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all, the, all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. Ah, what is it? In the days of this king, God of heaven shall set up his kingdom. That means, when will this kingdom be set up on this earth? 
not when everything is over newly will come newly nothing will be there on the earth and will set up his kingdom no 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 it says in the days of these kings that means when the kings are already ruling he will start establishing his kingdom he shall destroy all this worldly kingdom and the place of this kingdom his kingdom shall be established like for example you see Medo Persians established their kingdom upon the Babylon Empire. Babylon was already ruling it, you see. But Babylon was destroyed by the Medo Persians, and the Medo Persians who destroyed them, the Greece. A Greece did not come when nobody was there. Medo Persians were already ruling, and that was destroyed by the Grecian Empire, Alexander the Great. Now, with the Greece Empire, how did it got dissolved? It got dissolved because of the Roman Empire, you see. So the previous kings, when they were ruling, he said a new king came and destroyed them and established the kingdom. This is the same way it is going to happen, dear brethren. You see, when already these kings are ruling, Jesus will establish his kingdom. The clear proof for that one is that, you see, just look 100 years before. So many kings were there. Even in Nepal, there was a king. No, in Nepal, there is a king. No democracy elections are going on because the one supreme power that was there with a single person it fragmented you see slowly it's breaking into pieces you see it went on to individual parties next what will happen now coalition governments will come no individual party can establish a government or run a government that is what the Bible says. You see, Jesus is pounding all this, uh, you see, uh, nations. Uh, lot of examples are there. You see, uh, Ukraine went off. Russia went off. Uh, Libya went off. Uh, Egypt went off. Uh, so many nations in, in Africa went off. Uh, see, these powerful nations, where are they? Are? They are no more. Even America, United States of America, you see, you know, where are they? You see? They are very silent, very neutral. Why? Because they have been pounded. They don't have so much of power. Yes, America is great. But they don't have so much of power which they had some 30, 40 years before they put They are totally come down. This is a time proverb. This is a prophecy which says that in this, uh, you see, time, that Jesus will establish his kingdom. Not that after everything he will destroy, then he will establish his kingdom. But in these days, his kingdom shall be established. Okay. Let us read one more prophecy. Luke 21-24. Luke 21-24. Munna sister, can you read? Okay. Um, Gopal brother, can you read? And this shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Very good. See, uh, Anil brother, I was telling about the Israel prophecy. You know, this is also prophecy about Israel. See, it says about Israel, Israel shall fall by the edge of the sword and they shall be led captivity in all nations. It is from these nations that Israel shall be gathered, it seems. Now, when it will happen? Here, a time is given when they will be regathered. It says, you see, Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. That means... Who will rule upon the land of Israel? Gentiles will rule, it seems. Till when? You see, till the times of Gentiles are fulfilled. Now, what is the times of Gentiles? That means God had given a particular time for the Gentiles to rule. See, this is related to Daniel's second chapter. You see the multi, you see metallic structure. That is the Gentile nations. Babylon, Medo Persia, Greece and Rome. This is not the nations which God recognized. These are the Gentile nations. But God had given them a period to rule. And what is that period? You see, and that period is a period of Gentiles. You see, and what is that period of Gentiles? Um, read Leviticus 
Leviticus 26, 28. Sunita Astor, can you read? Then I will walk contrary unto you also in fury, and I even I will chastise you seven times for your sins. She mm, says, God said, you see, if you don't repent, I will punish seven times for your sins. Seven times, you saw that. Seven years. One time in the Bible is a year. So seven times means seven years. So seven years means how many days? See, prophetically, if we calculate one day, you see, and uh, uh, how many days in a year? If you see, one year as 360 days in it. For seven years, it is 2520 days. And for a prophet, one day means actually one year. Don't worry, we'll take this class again. Okay, this I'm telling you in a very just a very small way. This class is nearly for 45 minutes. We'll see God willing in the coming days. Okay. And 2520 days means 2520 years in the sight of a prophet. So when did it began? When did it end? If you see, it began with the ruling of the Babylonian Empire. Nebuchadnezzar in 606 BC. From 606 BC, if you calculate 2520 years, it comes exactly to 1914. You know, 1914, what happened? Can anybody guess? 1914, a very great thing happened in the world. Anybody, any guess what happened in this world? I'll give you a clue. Uh, maybe uh, the uh, second invent of Christ. Ah, the first world war, sister. You see, first world war happened in 1914. There was no world war till then. You can imagine, there were so much wars, but world war. That was not kept by God. It was kept by the Gentile powers because the Gentiles' powers were shattered. The stone hit in 1914. Stone came, but stone hit in 1914. The world powers were scattered. This is a clear proof, a prophecy that we are living in Christ's presence. We are living in a period where Jesus has already come. Okay. Now, you see, let us go to the time prophecy. You see, huh? where does the Bible say about time prophecy? You see, read Daniel 12 chapter. See, Daniel 12 chapter gives us three Days. You see, let us read Daniel 12.7. Uh, Daniel 12.7. Uh, Anil Buddha, can you read Daniel 12.7 Buddha? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times and 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 half, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. It says about uh, time, times and half a times, where God's uh, you see, uh, holy people power will be scattered. That means uh, there shall be some persecution for a period of uh, three and a half times. You see, this is the first date. Okay? Huh? What is the first date? This is actually telling about the period of Antichrist. We already studied in Revelation, Daniel 7 chapter and Revelation 12 chapter, 13 chapter. Same thing is again repeated in Daniel 12 chapter also. Okay. Now, three and a half, you see, times means three and a half years, you see. That is the period of Antichrist from 539. If you calculate 1260, it comes to 1799. How? You see, Daniel 12 chapter mentions about three and a half times. The same thing is again mentioned in the book of Revelation also. It is mentioned there in days, in times or years, in months also. Now, let us just cross verify and uh, find out 
if it is correct or not. Okay? Please read Revelation 12.6. Everybody, please take your notebook. Write these calculations. Okay, very simple calculation. No need to worry. Please take your notebook. And please keep a calculator or something if you have. Or in the mobile. And please calculate. Okay? Now, read Revelation 12.6. Uh, Romy sister, can you read Revelation 12.6? Okay. Somebody else. Joel brother. Ah, okay. Go for brother. Read. Ah. And, and the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. See, thousand two hundred and three score means thousand two sixty days. Okay. Same. This is the same thing. Okay. Let us cross verify it. Read Revelation 12, 14 also brother. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. Same. See? Three and a half times. Time, times and half a time. Same time that is read by Buddha Anil in Daniel 12, 7. Same thing. See? Three and a half years. Okay? Now read Revelation 13, 5 also Buddha. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. Mm, 42 months. See, all the period are same period. How? See, 1260 days divided by 42 months. How many days you will get? Somebody calculate and tell me. 1260 divided by 42. How much you will get? 30, brother. 30. We already studied this one in Antichrist class. We did the calculation. So, same calculation. See, that means in one month, there are 30 days biblically. See, biblical calendar, each and every month has 30 days. Okay? Now, let us cross-check it. 30 days into 12 months, how much it will come? 30 into 12. Who can tell? Who is good at max? Amar brother, Muna sister, or uh, Anil brother, Sunita sister. Who is good at calculations? 30 into 12, how much? 360 days. Very good brother. See, 30 days in a month into 12 months will give you 360 days. In a year. This is biblical calendar. This is not our calendar. This is biblical calendar. God's calendar. Okay. Now multiply 360 into 3 and a half. It said no. Time, times and half a times. So 3 and a half times. So 360 into 3 and a half. How much it will come? 360 into 3.5. How much it will come? 1260. Correct, brother. See, that is the same period. That means 1260 days. That's the reason I told you 42 months is equal to 1260 days is equal to three and a half years. Everything is the same period only. Okay. Now, for a prophet, one day means how many years? One year. Where is it given? Ezekiel 4 6. Ezekiel 4 6. Uh, Roman sister, can you read? Okay, brother. Hmm. Is it here? Four, six. After you have Finish this. Lie down again. This time on your right side and bear the sin of, of the people of Judah. I have 
assigned you for 40 days a day for each year. Mm, a day for each year, underline it. This is for a prophet. So, one day for a prophet is equal to one year. That means what? In Daniel 12, 7, what did it say? 1260 days means 1260 years. Three and a half times means what? 1260 years. Now, for when did it start? You see? For when to start? Uh, you see? It all starts at the same, you see, point. Which is that point? You see, it says, from where the God's holy people's power shall be scattered. That means, the abomination that make it desolate when it was set up since that time. That means the beginning of the Antichrist. Since this is actually telling about the beginning of the Antichrist, Antichrist period. You see, we know that uh, Pope uh, conducted the Mass the first time in 539 AD. That is the 539 AD is the is year when the three horns on the great dragon head fell and in between a great horn came which had eyes of a man and the mouth of great speak, speaking great words. So, from 539, if you add 1260, we will come to 1799. That is the end of the Antichrist when Pope was arrested by Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, this is the first date. Okay, now let us come to the second date that is mentioned in Revelation, in Daniel 12, 11. See, the first date we already studied in Antichrist period. So, that's the reason I'm not taking too elaborately. Okay, because other two dates are there. That's very important for us. Now, let us come to the second date. That is mentioned to us in Daniel 12.11. Uh, Joel, brother, read Daniel 12.11, brother. And from the time that the, that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and he aboni, abomination that make it dissolve, desolate, set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. You see, it says when... Uh, you see, the abomination that take it, uh, uh, the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, abomination that make it dissolution shall be set up, uh, they shall be 1290 days. Now, what is this daily sacrifice taken away? Abomination that make it settle, that is the, uh, make it desolate that is set up. Daily sacrifice means Israel people were offering daily sacrifices on the altar of God until Jesus came. Once Jesus came, those sacrifices were never to be repeated. It was not at all necessary. So what happened? You see, this sacrifice of Jesus was a daily sacrifice. This verse, it says, this daily sacrifice was taken away from Jesus. And instead of this one, an abomination that make it desolate was set up. Now what is this abomination? Now, which is... Abomination in the God of in the sight of God. If you see, you see, huh? taking the sacrifice of Jesus and replacing it with uh, some other sacrifices, that is abomination in God's sight. Like for example, you see, Jesus died on for all, so no need to repeat that uh, sacrifice again and again. But the Roman Catholic, uh, the great Antichrist system. Whenever they began to break the bread and drink the wine, they claim literally that Jesus died for them literally. That is the abomination, you see, that was set up by taking the value of Jesus' ransom sacrifice. So when that one happened, that is again the period of Antichrist, you see. So 1,290 days means for a prophet, it is a year. So 1,290 years. So, from 539, if you add 1290, how much you will get? Who can calculate and tell me? 539 plus 1290, how much you will get? Are you all there? Who can tell me? Eighteen nine. 1829. Correct, brother. 18? 
So, what happened in 1829? If you see, as the William Miller movement. Miller movement happened in 1829. See, Miller claimed that Jesus will return in 1844. And almost everybody in America believed his teachings, sir. Everybody on 1844, on a particular date, they all went to a mountain with full cloth with white robes uh, and waiting for the return of Jesus, uh, thinking that Jesus will come and return and take them away. Uh, you see, and like that only to heaven. Uh. And many people, trusting his teaching, they sold all their property, forgive all them for, uh, you see, debts and everything and all. They gave off all their loan, you see, and sold everything. Uh. But as William Miller expected, Nothing happened in 1844. So Jesus did not return in 1844. But then what happened? You see, there was one more prophecy that was supposed to be read by William Miller. But uh, God blinded him. So this is all Bible prophecy. Where it is given? Matthew 25th chapter. Okay, Matthew 25th chapter. Munan sister, are you able to read now? Is it okay or uh, shall we skip to somebody else? Matthew 25th chapter. Okay. Um, Sister Sunita, can you read? See, Matthew 25th chapter it speaks about the parable of the ten virgins. Ten virgins went to meet Jesus Christ, it seems. Read verse 1, sister. One. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Ah, went to meet the bridegroom. So this is the church waiting for the second event of Jesus to meet him. Now what happened? You see, verse 5, sister. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. See, the bridegroom tarried, it seems. That means what? Uh, it says, bridegroom was supposed to come at that time. But he did not come. He tarried. He delayed. So, his delay was good. So, what happened? Uh, many people stepped off, it seems. So, when Jesus did not return in 1844, when uh, their expectations were a failure, the people who just for pretend sake, who just for hypocrisy had uh, forsaken everything and followed Jesus, they all returned back to the world. You see, they took all the money what they had given. You see, they told to give us back. They took all their property and lived a worldly life. So everybody slept. Slept in what? Slept spiritually. You see, but uh, some people... They're awake. See what happened. Next verse, sister. Huh? Verse 6 and at, verse 7. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. See? There was another call, it seems. So immediately, they began to awake and trim their lamps. The faithful, you see, God's children began to trim their lamps of the word of God and search, oh, where we committed mistake, oh, where wrong, we're gone. We need to study again. And they began to study the second coming again. Now, what happened there? Read verse 6, sister. Verse 6 again. Read. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Ah, at Behold, midnight, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, Amen. go ye out to meet him. Ah, so, in midnight there was a cry, same, sir. Huh? When was the cry? Midnight. Why this particular midnight is given? They could have given a uh, bridegroom came simply. In midnight, why is given? That is the clue for Jesus' second advent. And where is it given? Other date is given is in Daniel 12, 12. You see, and that is the date of our Lord's second advent. 
Let us read Daniel 12, 12. Amar brother, can you read Daniel 12, 12 brother? Daniel 12, chapter 12 verse. Brother, I will be reading. Ah, please, uh, Mr. Please. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. You see, blessed is the man that waiteth and cometh to thousand three thirty five days. Now, what is the blessing of that three thousand three thirty five days? Because that year our Lord returned. We all know again the prophetic language 1,335 days means 1,335 years. So it again began from the great Antichrist system. So 539 plus 1,335, what you will get? Can somebody calculate and tell me? 539 plus 1,335, how much you will get? Yeah, very good. 1874. So, 1874 is the blessed year where our Lord actually returned to the earth atmosphere. Okay. You know, what happened in 1874? Electric bulb was invented in 1874 only. That is the blessedness, dear brethren. Because electric bulb, what does it give? Light. 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 So who is the light of this world? Jesus Christ. Jesus. See, it's mentioned in the Bible. Revelation 18.1. Somebody read, brother, please. Revelation 18.1. Anybody who can open the Bible and read? I'll read. No, read sir. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the, and the earth was lighted with with his glory oh, the great angel returned from heaven return of jesus christ he had great power matthew 28 18 all power in heaven and earth is given to me he returned with full supreme power and because of his coming to the earth what happened the earth was lightened enlightenment increase in knowledge you see, this is the blessings of the Lord. Just imagine, you know, chloroform, when it was invented, it is invented after 1874. Imagine, without chloroform, what all operations were done when people are still alive, they are realizing the pain. So terrific, we can't even imagine. Dear brethren, that was the blessing of the Lord. Who can imagine, dear brethren, who has given that mind for a scientist to invent chloroform? You see, you just think and uh, just uh, you see, reason it out. Uh, you see, that's not a thought that comes uh, naturally to everybody. That is the gift of the Lord. Uh, you see, dear brethren, the medicine field. You see, today they even found the treatment for cancer also. You see, until 20-30 uh, years, what was there? No treatment at all. Just go for operation, radiation, then just go to the house. That's all. You suffer and die. But today, there are, uh, you see, vaccines for each and every disease. Who has invented this one? All these things. This knowledge is given by our Lord. He came to the earth. Earth was enlightened. Polio. Imagine polio drops were invented. You see? There's no polio in this world today. It is totally eradicated. Just a few drops of polio drops. It just falls into your mouth. All the disease in your body gets healed. Who has given this knowledge? What type of power is this, dear brethren? This knowledge is come to the blessings of the Lord. You see, dear brethren, therefore, 1874 is the year our Jesus returned at the second advent invisibly. Okay. Now, this is a one proof. Okay. And there's other proof of Bible chronology. Okay. I, I, I think uh, we have not taken this Bible chronology. Correct? Yes, brother. Okay. Yes, See? Brother. Okay. So, anyway, we won't, we won't be going in detail. I'll tell it in short. Brother will take it to you in a detailed class of the Bible chronology. 
So this is a prophecy where we study since the creation of Adam till AD 1. How many years are there from the Bible? Okay. And this uh, will be divided into eight parts. Okay. And the first part is from the creation of Adam till the flood. That is a period of 1,056 years. I'll just summary and go. Okay, later on we'll be having the classes also, but I will take no need to worry. The second period is from the flood till the covenant with Abraham. That is 427 years. And from then, from the covenant with Abraham till the law, the first law which God gave to Israel, that's the Passover, that is 430 years. And after the Passover, the people of Israel left Egypt. They came to the Canaan land. And all this took 46 years. So once they came to the Canaan land, you see, the promised land, they were blessed with judges for a period of 450 years. Then kings uh, for uh, ruled over Israel for a period of 513 years. After this one, Israel were taken captivity or the land was let desolate and they were in Babylon that's for a period of 70 years. After 70 years, Cyrus gave a commandment to go and build a a temple at Jerusalem. That is at 536 AD. So total overall, if you calculate the brethren, you see all these eight sectors, that is 1656 plus 427 plus 430 plus 46 plus 450 plus 513 plus 570 plus 536, you get 4128 years. That is from the creation of Adam till AD 1. We all know God's plan, that is a period of 6,000 years plus 1,000 years, 6,000 years sin and 1,000 years reign of Christ. So if you need to come to the 1,000 year reign of Christ, this 6,000 years has to be over. Now we will see when this 6,000 year actually ends. You see, 4,128 already we calculated. We just now saw the brother will teach you in more detail in the coming days. Okay. Now what is the balance year left over? To complete the 6,000 years. It's a very simple calculation. 6,000 minus 4,128, it will give us the balance period that is left over to complete the 6,000 years. And that is 1872. So, as per Bible chronology, 1872 is the end of 6,000 years and the beginning of 1,000 years. That is the second advent of Jesus. Okay. Now, just now, we studied 1874, but now suddenly why this two years difference, 1872? Dear brethren, this two years is not a difference at all. Because Bible chronology is a chronology since the beginning and the creation of Adam. Not since his fall. Now who can tell me this answer? Adam was created on which day? Was he created on the sixth day or was he created on the seventh day? Who will tell me? When was Adam created? Sixth. Uh, Adam was created on the, not on the seventh day. He was created on the sixth day. Read the Bible. You see, Genesis 1, 26. Somebody please read Genesis 1, 26 and 1, 31. Okay, Joel brother, can you read? And God say, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and okay. over the... Okay, see, God created Adam. Now read verse 31 brother, which is this day? And God saw everything that he had made, he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Ah, sixth day, not on the seventh day. So sixth day end, God created Adam. That means what? We need to take the years that is there in the sixth day. Because this 6,000 years is a calculation of 6,000 years of sin. That began only when Adam sinned. That means, you see, when Adam was created, who was first created? Adam or Eve or both? Who will answer? 
Adam. Adam. What about you? What about you? When she was created, how did God create Eve? It is after Adam or before Adam? Or along with Adam? After Adam. After Adam. You know, when and how God created Adam. Read that verse. Anil, brother, read. Genesis, second chapter, brother. 19 and 20, brother. Uh, one minute. Uh, read from verse 18, 19, 20, brother. Uh, Genesis, second chapter. 18, 19, 20, brother. And the, and the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Mm -hmm. And out of the ground, the Lord God found every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what, what he would call them and whatsoever Adam called every living creature that was the name thereof. Hmm. That was the name thereof. See, here it says, God uh, made Adam to give names for all the animals. How did Adam give the names for all the animals? Adam named lion as lion, tiger as tiger. How did he name it? Just think, no. How, how did he name it? Huh? It's given there only. Who will answer? Just read the verse again, brother. The clue is given in verse 19 only. Who can tell me? Read again, brother. 19. Hmm. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every, every beast of the field and every fowl, fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what, what he would call them. Ah, and that is the clue. Brought before Adam to see what he would call them. That is the clue. Now you tell me. I given the clue also. You can just tell me the answer. How did Adam name all the animals? Let me guess. Okay. Now what happened? God made all the animals to come before Adam. That means what? He would have observed all the animals' behavior. You see, they were pairs, male, female. Huh? Giraffe is there, lion is there, tiger is there, huh? cheetah is there, leopard is there. Everything is there, elephant is there. Everything, what is there? Huh? Pairs is there and every animal has got a unique character, quality. Correct, no? Cheetah is not like a leopard, leopard is not like a cheetah. You see, it's not like a panther. There's difference among them. You see, even there's a difference between a lion and a tiger. You see? And how did Adam observe all these things? He has observed each and everything and named them in a biological way. I hope you all have studied in this one in your school. There is a biological name for each and every human being, each and every creation of this world. Do you know that one? Does anybody know this one? There is a biological name for each and every uh, creation. Let it be plants, animals, anything. Or fruits also. Does anybody know? Yes. Yes. What is the biological name for a human being? Can anybody tell me? Actually, I forgot, but I have heard it before. Okay. Homo sapiens. So, Homo sapiens is the biological name for human beings. Why I tell you? Because that biological name has got a lot of features in it. It should be a, a, what, a, a, a thing that is giving birth. The body should be, if it is cut in the center, it should be equally divided. You see, it should be having all the same parts on the left and the right. So these are the sp some small things. You see, these are the character features upon which a biological name is given. So similarly, Adam would have observed each and every animal and given the name. See, he has observed all the animals for a period of one year. Then he gave the name for all the animals. Then what happened? Now read, Anil Buddha, read verse 20. Now what happened? Genesis 2.20, brother. And Adam Adam gave names to all cattle and to 
the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found and help meet for him. That means there was no help meet for him. He realized that arg. Everybody are pair. Male, female is there. Boyfriend, girlfriend is there. For me, who is not there? I am alone. There is no girlfriend for me. That is the time he realized. Until the such time, he hasn't even realized that, that he needs a girl. That is the time God created Eve. So this naming of all the animals has taken one year. Why one year? Because one year in all on one year the complete seasons are there, four seasons. So in all the seasons, you can see all the observations of all the animals and give their names. Okay. Now then he was created. See, after marriage, how many days you'll get leave in a company? How many days uh, they'll give leave in Nepal after marriage? You know, leave it Allah. Oh, you, you, tell me no, some date. How many days they give leave in Nepal after marriage? Huh? One day, two day. How many days? Oh, nobody's got married. Oh, no. Romy sister, you tell me. How many days leave? We, we did not got <laughs> Oh, you are a businessman. No, <laughs> you are the owner. Okay. <laughs> See? Huh? In India, they give at least one week or 15 days. You know, God, how many days he'll give leave? He gives one year leave. Read Deuteronomy 24.5. Deuteronomy 24.5. Joel, brother, read. Twenty-four. Five. Okay. When a man had taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one a year, one and year. shall huh. sell cheaper a cheer of his wife which he had taken. Oh, see, brother, one year leave. Ah, our boss, God, <laughs> he gives one year leave, it seems, sir. So, similarly, when Adam was married, definitely God would have not permitted any trials in his life, at least for one year. So, what happened? Two years, Adam lived in Garden of Eden without committing sin. So, once he committed sin, then what happened? The 6,000 countdown began. So, there is the two years difference. So, if you remove the two years difference, Again, you'll get 1874. Dear brethren, it's all a clear proof that Jesus returned in 1874. Apart from this, there are still many proofs. If you have time, I can discuss now. You have 10 minutes time? Or we'll see next week. Okay. I have some times, but late. Okay. Then we'll stop here. Before we'll this. see next week. Not a problem. Because uh, uh, you also take some time to do some revision, to understand uh, more things that will be very good for you to digest uh, 